Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a labelled scatter plot in R. So first of all, let's take a quick look at the data set that I'm going to use uh, to illustrate how we plot a scatter plot in the first place and then add labels to the plot. And the CARS uh, data set is an inbuilt data set in R, so on line 4 I've just got the uh, data set name uh, listed, so I'm going to run that. And we can see in our output in the console that we have a data set with just two variables. It's the speed that a car is traveling at and the distance uh, that it takes for a car to stop at these various speeds. So you can see at low speeds, the distance to stop is quite small. And then as you get up to higher speeds, the distance of stopping is, is much higher. And I'd like you to be able to visualize this by plotting each variable against each other. So let me just remind myself again using the head function. Uh, what the variables are, I want to plot speed against distance. And now the plot function in R is the simplest way to do this. So let's just do a simple plot of the car's data set. All right, there are only two variables in here, so uh, there's uh, no choices. Let's run this. And in our output over here on the right hand side, uh, we get a plot of um, the uh, distance against speed. Uh, if I want to take a quick look at this, there's a zoom function in R Studio. And this gives me a nicer, neater diagram to look at. And we can see, uh, it would appear that the higher the speed, the longer the stopping distance when a car presses on the brakes. Um, however, when you look at this, you can see that there's no title on the chart, there's no color on the chart. The variable names are using the abbreviations dist in the case of the y-axis for distance. Uh, speed is okay, but it's a lowercase s, so we might like to make that an uppercase s for speed. So I'd like to add in an X and Y title as well as a main title on this chart. So let me um, come out of that and move to the next line. So if I want to uh, make a plot and just first of all, let's add a main heading. So I'm going to uh, use the plot function again. There are many other functions, but this is the simplest function uh, to draw a scatter plot. The cars data set again, and this time I want to give it a main heading and that's simply the main parameter is equal to, and in inverted commas, type in whatever you want your heading to be. So I'm going to type in speed vs versus uh, stopping distance. That's what these two variables in this data set are. So now when I uh, rerun the code, we can see in our uh, plots area in our studio that we've got a heading, speed versus stop distance, stopping distance on our chart. When we zoom in on that, we can see that now our chart is beginning to take on uh, a more professional, a better looking uh, approach. So what about the X and Y axis? So uh, let me copy that line, um, line of co code and um, re replot this so that you can see what I'm doing. So that's just a copy and paste of the same uh, piece of code. Um, at the end here, I'm going to put in a comma and move down to the next line. And I'm going to call the X, la X label, the parameter is called XLab is equal to, and in inverted commas, whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to put down speed with a capital S, and in brackets, the speed in the data set are in miles per hour. And after the inverted commas, put in another comma, and I'm going to put in the Y lab, which is the Y label, Y L A B is the parameter name, equal to, and again, in inverted commas, whatever you type in here will appear as the um, um, label on the Y axis. So this is stopping distance. Let me type this out in full. And then uh, this is a uh, stopping distance are in feet. And if I now go to the end of the line and run this line of code, we can see uh, in our area, let's uh, zoom in and get a better look at it. We can see now, not only do we have the main heading again, but we now have a more meaningful X axis speed in miles per hour. And on the Y axis, you can see that stopping distance in feet is also labeled here. So that's um, a, our um, basic label diagram. A couple of final things that you might want to do with this. Let me just copy all of this code again. Um, we can see that the um, default default uh, shape of the dots on the diagram is a black circle. And, and so what about if I wanted to uh, change, say, for example, the color in this? So that's call is the very parameter name. Don't forget to put in, uh, as I have not done, so a comma after the stopping distance call equals to, and then type out in the word, whatever color you want, I'm going to type in blue. Uh, run this line of code. We can see that our circles change to blue. And I can also add in an extra parameter in here if I want to uh, um, 
add the change the shape of the data points, uh, we use the PCH pitch param um, parameter here is equal to and a number. You can experiment with this. I'm going to go for for a pitch of 19. Run this uh, full line of code here, and we can see that we've changed our diagram into solid circles. Zoom in on that, and we can see that our diagram is a little bit more professional looking. If we wanted to say, for example, put this into a report or an assignment, we can see that we have a main heading, uh, X and Y labels, and we've got uh, different shapes available for the dots. Um, and this is much, much more professional looking for your report. So that's how you draw a label scatter plot in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.